Welcome back in to WKYT News. Many of you have been waiting, and Lexington Restaurant Week begins today. Your chance to try a new restaurant or an old favorite and support LexArts at the same time. We're joined now by the owner of Willie's locally known, Wilson Sebastian, and executive chef Tanner Stiff. Thank you very much for coming in. Thanks for having everything. This is great. You're well known yeah. for your oysters. That's what you brought in yeah, today. Huh? That's right. That's right. We, um, we've got some really good ones. Um, and Tanner's going to give us a demonstration on how to shuck them today. Yeah. They're How do you do that? They're actually East Coast, um, and the way you can tell is they have a smoother shell. And uh -huh. if you go West Coast, they'll have the kind of the more ruffled shell oh, and stuff. And uh, when you when you shuck oysters, well, you want to be safe so you don't stab yourself through the hand. <laughs> yeah, that's good idea. That's why I have this chain mail glove. But uh, you go in the back where the hinge is, uh -huh. you go up, and you release it off the top, mm -hmm. and then below it, release it. So. It's easy to take out. It's ready to go. Oh man, you do, you make it look easy, and you do this <laughs> behind the bar every day. Uh, me personally, I don't, but I do. <laughs> I do get back behind there sometimes. Yeah. That um, yeah, well, we, there happens to be some bourbon. Is that oh, uh, yes. part of the the uh, recipe for another part? We, we yeah. make a bourbon mignonette that yeah. we serve, and that's that's what this is here. And of course, the traditional cocktail sauce. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, did you want to mix some of yeah, that up? I haven't heard of this. How do you do that? Yeah. Uh, well, the bourbon and yet I use a balsamic vinegar, mm -hmm. and I throw shallots in there, and then also uh, do a little bit of bourbon and some horseradish, and uh, mix it up, and it's a good topping for the oysters. If people uh, come by during Restaurant Week, uh, what uh, what's going to be the special, and what can they look forward they'll, to? They'll they'll be able to choose from. Uh, a good selection of appetizers on a couple of different entrees and then our bourbon uh, bread pudding will be uh, the dessert mm -hmm. option. Uh, the oysters <laughs> wow. will be on there uh, mm -hmm. that they can try so it should be, mm -hmm. it should be a lot of fun. Do you have just the one variety of oysters or is it different types? What? It's whatever is the fresh, uh, freshest that we can get at the time mm -hmm. and so we uh, source them through a place called Inland Seafood and they'll send them in and so we get the whenever they pick it for us and then they'll send us three different varieties and uh, so we have about four different types of all times. But the key factor is that they're really fresh. Yes. Sounds yes, good. Really Wilson, tell us about the opportunity to uh, take part in Lexington's yeah. Restaurant Week. Well, it's, I mean, it's great. You know, we're, we're fresh on the heels of Burger Week, which was quite a, uh, quite a busy week for us as well. So, mm -hmm. um, no, it's, it's a good chance for folks to get out and maybe try some places that otherwise, you know, uh, they hadn't been to yet. Um, and, you know, it gives us the opportunity to kind of Put, put something together for, for yeah. people and kind of show them who we are and what we're all about. All right. Good. And your location? Yeah, on uh, 286 Southland Drive. If you're uh, headed away from Nicholasville Road down Southland, we're right before you go under the railroad tracks on the left. Just all make right. a left to there at Nicholasville and you're on the left down yeah. through there. All right. Well, very good. Thanks for coming in. Yeah. Enjoy Restaurant Week. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.